Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about um, list views and how you can bind your list views to view model and how you can add, delete, update items from your list view. So yeah, to get started, let's create a, a list view control and I'm going to call it as list view employees, employees. And to add items into this list view, we need to assign item source property of this view. So I'm going to go ahead and code behind and say LV employees item source, item source, and assign this item source with this string array that I just created. Nice. So what it should do is it should add these employees into item source and it should list down all these employees. Let's see if this works. Nice. You can see this uh, list of employees is at, are added into our item source and into our list view. Cool. But the problem with this is in our last video, we learned how it is a bad idea to access your access your control and assign values, um, assign values to it in our code behind because it makes our code very complex and it doesn't keep uh, UI and code behind the presentation logic layer separated. So what we're going to do is I want to assign, I want to bind my UI page to a view model and I want to, I want to bind my list view to one of the properties of the view model. So I've already created this view model. It's called as uh, employee list view model. And I have a property in it called as employees, which I'm assigning when uh, the view model gets initialized and I'm assigning with the same list of people that we had uh, in our previous example. So yeah, let's go ahead and bind. First, we need to bind our view model to the page. I'm gonna say content page binding context should be bound to a local variable, which is employee list view model. Nice. And once once I have bound uh, view model to you, I, I need to bind bind my list view bind my list view to its property which is employees cool so now now the view model is bound and the employees which is getting initialized in view model should populate the items in list view let's run this cool now you can see that our list view model is bound to ui and the list view control is bound to one of its properties, employees, which has, uh, which has a list of all the employees in it. Cool. Uh, but the problem with this is with this uh, initialization, I cannot add more employees into my uh, in into my list. So .NET provides this um, this data type called as observable collection observable collection and I'm gonna um, say that it, this collection is a string collection let's get rid of this code so what this collection does is this collection observes your list and if you add item into your list it will it will tell UI to update itself the problem with string array was string array was not two-way bound to our list view. So even if you add items into string array, it won't update the list view. With observable collection, we can do that. Cool. So what I'm going to do is I have already created this observable collection. I need to initialize this observable collection. I'm going to say new observable collection. And after this, we can add more employees into this collection and that will get populated on our list view. So I'm going to add the same list of employees in this observable collection. Cool. Let's run this and see if this works or not. Cool. So nothing has changed because our observable collection is assigning, is adding more employees when it's initializing the view model and that those people are getting added into the list. Sweet. So what I want to do right now is I want to add an interface where it takes the employee name and I want to add a button which will on click of that button, it will add more employees into the list. 
So I'm going to go in UI and say that before this list view, I want to create a text box, uh, entry control and call it as employee name. Nice. And I'm going to add a button and assign the text to add. Now, uh, now that we have added these controls in our UI, we need to bind these controls to our view model, just like we have bound our list view to our view model. So I'm going to go ahead and say, I'll add a property called as employee name, which is the text box. And then add a function called as add, add employee which will add employees which will add employee into employees which will be the same as whatever that you're entering in the text box cool now that we have created this function what we need to do is we need to create a command which will call this function and that command needs to get bound to needs to get bound to our ui so i'm going to call this command as add employee command and assign this command to with our add employee function sweet now add command oh and i need to put new here there you go sweet so what i need to do is i need to bind our properties and our command to our ui Let's go ahead and bind the text property of you of the text box to employee name and click event command to add employee command. Nice. So let's run this. Nice. So now we have a text box and add button and uh, the uh, list view where we have ad already added these people into it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add Steve Jobs into our list view. And cool, there you go. Now we can add items into our list view. Now that we can add items into our list view, I want to remove items from our list view. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to select a uh, item from the list view and put a button here called as remove and uh, that remove button should remove the person which is selected so the first thing that we have to do is we have to get the selected item to get the selected item i'm going to create a property and call it as selected employee selected employee because i want to get it and then uh, in our list view so list view has this property selected item so when you select an item from the list view it will assign the selected item property to the list view so what we are going to do is we are going to bind our selected item to our selected employee in our view model nice so when someone selects an employee uh, from the page it the selected employee from view model will get assigned but now we want to remove that selected item i'm going to create a function uh, public function and it's void remove employee and when you call this remove employee it should remove employee which is selected that employee nice now we need to create an a command for this say that it's a remove command and call remove function when you create this command and then i'm going to add a button add a button say that okay remove the selected item and bind this command to remove employee command nice i'm going to run this and uh, hopefully it'll remove items from my list view
Awesome. Now you can see that remove button. I want to remove this third person from the list. When I click on it, this person goes away. There you go. So now that we can add remove items from a list view, what I want to do is I want to update an item from the list view. So to do that, uh, I'm going to select an item and then put its new value in the text box and put a button here called this update, which will update the value of the selected item. To do that, let's go ahead and create our new function called as public void update employee. So in this update employee, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the remove the selected item, selected employee, and add the employee which is which is there in the text box. Um, employee name. Sweet. But what this will do is this will remove the item which we have selected and it will put this new item in, at the bottom. So what we need to do is we want to replace this selected item. So I'm going to get the new index for our added item from the selected. I'm going to say that employees, please get the index of a selected employee. And after adding this employee, that will be the old index. So I'm going to say old index should be um, from the employees index of newly added newly added employee, employee name. nice so now that we have the new and uh, index and the old index I want to move these move these items from move these items from old to new so this is the old index and that's the new index. Nice. Sweet. Now that we have our function, let's call this function when uh, when we put the button to, and we need to bind that new button to our command. Let's make this pretty. I'm gonna say it is, it's a update employee command. And instead of calling remove employee, let's call update employee because we don't want to remove. And in code behind, I'm going to add a uh, extra button, extra button, and call it as update, update, and bind this update to update command. Awesome. All right. I'm going to run this and see if that works or not. Sweet. So now we have, uh, now we have the items in the list view and we have add, remove and update button. And when I select this button, this item from the list view, I want to update it with the new name. So I'm going to call it Steve Jobs. And I will hope that this name gets changed to Steve Jobs. When I click on update, there you go. Steve Jobs gets updated. The old value gets updated with Steve Jobs. So that's how you can add, remove, and update items from our uh, from the list view. See, this code is there on GitHub. I'm going to mention the link of our GitHub, uh, GitHub project in the video description. And I just wanted to talk about the basics of the list view and how you can add, remove items from. Um, items from the list view. In my next video, I'm going to talk about custom cells in the list view because this remove and update, it doesn't look good on the UI. It should be in the list view. So when you click on the button in the list view, it should delete that item or update that item. And to add the uh, add the employee in, uh, in the list view, I'm going to put a add button here in the toolbar and uh, explain how the navigations work. Also, I'm going to add images in the list view to make the list view look nicer so yeah stay tuned thanks for watching this video bye